Hello, this is Sandeep. Today I am going to talk about how to move data flow across workspaces in Power BI service. So I was recently involved in a project where I had to move a bunch of data flows and data sets uh, from one workspace to the other. So I thought I would make a video and show you how to do that. So I'm in Power BI service and I have a workspace here called trial and within trial I have a data flow. So if I click on this data flow called test, I have a bunch of queries. So I have five different queries. Uh, the data set here is just a sample data set. Um, and five, I have five different queries here. And I want to move this data flow from this trial workspace and then move that to another workspace called trial two, which does not have uh, anything at this point. So let me go to trial workspace here. And then if I go to this test, I have five queries. One way to copy the queries um, and then move them is I can always right click a query, copy it, um, and then go to Power BI, uh, the, rather the data flow, in, and then create a new data flow and then, then copy and paste, or you could even copy the M uh, source here, M code here, and then do that. A better way is if you go to your data flow again, and then click on these three ellipses and then export JSON. So what the JSON file will include is the data and also the metadata associated with your uh, data flow. So you can just save this to your computer. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I won't do that, but you can just download it. And then go to your other workspace where you want to move this data flow to. So I'll go to data flow and then import model and then point to that JSON file. And should take a second. In this case, I don't need to edit the credentials because uh, this data source does, does not need any credentials. If I go here and then edit the data flow, you will see that um, it should have, it should pull in the data. Now again, in this case, I did not have to edit the credentials or enter the credentials. If you are connecting to an enterprise uh, database, uh, maybe SQL, Oracle, SAP, or anything, then you will be prompted to enter the credentials. Um, and you just enter your credentials, and then you should be connected to your data set. So let me close this and save and close. It should validate that in a moment. While that's loading, let me go here, and then I can just connect to the data flow, which I have already done that. So if I go here and I have already connected to this data flow and I have uh, the five different queries, exact same five queries uh, just for illustration purposes. So I have the five queries that I have uh, created here. Now, what I want to do is, let me go back, make sure that I refresh this. So I'm going to refresh now. So while this is refreshing, I am going to my trial and then I am going to delete this data flow because I want, I've already moved it, so I don't need it. So I'm going to delete this. So I go here and delete this. If I go back to Power BI desktop and refresh my Power BI desktop, it should give me an error. Now it's not, obviously we've already deleted the data flow. So it's, it cannot find it uh, there. So we have to point Power BI desktop to the new workspace and to the new uh, migrated data flow. So how do you do that? If I click on advanced editor here, it's looking for two things. First workspace ID and second is data flow ID. And if I go back to Power BI, trial two here, um, the way you can get your uh, workspace ID and data flow ID is go to the workspace where you have migrated the data to or data flow to, click on the data flow and then grab the URL up at the top. And I'll grab the URL if I go here, let me delete this. And in this URL, uh, yeah, in this URL, right after the groups, um, so we have app.parbi.com slash groups and then slash, 
the first number that you see is your workspace ID. So that's my workspace ID. Then the part after the data flow is your data flow ID. So these are the two key pieces of information we need. First, we need the workspace ID, and then we need the data flow ID. So with that information, what I'm going to do is copy the workspace ID. So I copy that and go back to my Power BI desktop, go to advanced editor for the first, um, for the first uh, uh, query that I have, and then we're going to put this here. But if I do that, I'll have to copy and paste every single time. So we're going to parameterize this. And so let me group these queries together. So I'm going to group this. And let's just call queries and say OK. And, and I'm going to create a new query, blank query, and then just put that number here. Um, and then created the blank query, and then I'm going to convert that to a parameter. Uh, you can always create a new parameter the other way, just right click and then new parameter. I, I just find it this little easier. So workspace ID, so I did that. Then I'm going to grab the data flow ID. So I copy that, go here, um, and then go to blank query, put that here, and double click. And this is my data flow ID. And now if I go to query one, go to advanced editor, and then replace this first part with your workspace ID, and then second part with the data flow ID, and click done. And now you have all your data. So you will repeat that same process for the rest of the data flows as well as the queries as well. Another thing to notice here is um, in this case, we did the, the, the data flow name did not change or the, rather the query name did not change. If your query name is, is going to change, then you'll have to, you can just parameterize uh, it uh, the same way. So um, actually I forgot to create a parameter for this. So create a parameter for this, and then you would put that here. So yeah, and then, uh, I mean, if you want to automate that even further, you could convert that into a function, um, and then it should just work fine. So there you have it.